one of the main things that I loved about Sophia is how driven she is, and and she, you know she really wants to be a successful um, art gallery owner in New York. Like that is the ideal dream is, is to be in New York and be a part of that whole lifestyle. And she's so focused, so focused that she's willing to move to North Carolina away from everything that she knows um, in order to pursue it because she gets a scholarship. She gets a scholarship to go to um, to Duke University. So I think. You know, for me, that's a really great quality in a young woman to know what you want to do so early on and then and then try to achieve it and do whatever you can to achieve it. Um, but the other thing that I really love about her is that she's not so focused that she loses out at the chance for having love and, and making the most of that opportunity. She meets a guy that she likes and she's not afraid to chase that dream either. After like two weeks, maybe, he really started to warm up to me and was, you know, super giggly and palling around and would tell me stories and engage in conversation and, and that's who he is. He's a guy who loves to to talk and chat and he wants to know anything and everything you you want to tell him. Like he's just very curious. And yeah, I think he is very charming. I I, I, I don't think people would be sad if they met him because he is so charming and so like suave but in like a cool way, not in an intimidating way. He's better with the horses than I am, however he has horrible posture. If you are a horse rider by trade, I think um, you have like really good posture and you sit a certain way. He is like, he, he rides like this, it's really, he has horrible, so he had to work on his posture a lot. He's better at it than I am, but he's got some technique issues.